welcome to the Carmelite Quotes podcast, where we share Carmelite wisdom to encourage and inspire. Today we continue our Marie Jusur series and delve into the life and words of Blessed Maria Felicia of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, lovingly known as Blessed Chiquitunga. Blessed Chiquitunga was born on January 12, 1925, in Asuncion, Paraguay. From a young age, she exhibited a deep love for God and a passion for serving others. She was actively involved in Catholic action, where she organized and led youth groups, promoted Christian values, and worked on social projects to help the poor and marginalized. Her journey into the Carmelite order began on February 2nd, 1954, when she entered the Carmel of Asuncion, Paraguay, where she embraced a life of prayer, sacrifice, and service with great zeal. In her short but impactful life, Chiquitunga's spirituality was centered on her profound love for Jesus in the Eucharist and her dedication to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Her writings reflect a soul deeply in love with God, always seeking to love more and more. She lived by her motto, T2OS, which stands for Todos te ofrezco, Señor. I offer you everything, Lord. One of Chiquitunga's most significant prayers encapsulates her desire to love more and more. She prays, My God, Most Holy Trinity, Crucified Jesus, Virgin Mary of Carmel, I will ask you for only one thing, because the rest will be given to me, and you will grant it to me as a surplus. What I ask for is love to love, because with this, nothing will be lacking. Nothing will be left over. Chiquitunga's prayer, Solo te pido amor para amar, means I only ask you for love to love, and it captures the essence of Chiquitunga's spirituality asking God for the capacity to love through the gift of divine love. She understood that with true love, everything else falls into place. And her life is a testament to the power of divine love, a love that transforms and fulfills. As we reflect on Blessed Chiquitunga's prayer, Let's ask ourselves, how can we embody this love to love in our own lives? How can we allow God's love to fill us so completely that it overflows to those around us? One concrete way we can do this is by dedicating time each month to volunteer at a local charity like St. Vincent de Paul or at a food bank. Just as Chiquitunga dedicated herself to volunteer service through Catholic action, we can let God's love flow through our actions, touching the lives of those in need. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, Please share it with your friends, your family, and your followers in social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. That way, you'll get notifications for all our new episodes. Remember, you can listen to our episodes on our website at carmelitequotes.blog, or you can listen on Spotify, where we publish our episodes. And we're also available on Apple, Amazon Music, Audible, iHeart, and YouTube, so you can find us on your favorite platform. And a big thank you to all our new subscribers. Your support and encouragement really means a lot to us. Be sure to visit our website 
for more reflections and quotes from Carmelite saints like Blessed Chiquitunga and other Carmelite authors. And as always, here's a word of gratitude to our friend Sean Beeson for our podcast music. You can listen to Sean on Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you enjoy streaming music. So let's wrap up with an inspirational thought from Chiquitunga's beautiful prayer. With love, nothing is lacking. Nothing is left over. So let's try to love deeply because it's in loving that we find true fulfillment. Blessings from Carmel.